All right, um, today we're going to make a more advanced texture. Um, I've opened our old texture already, and I'm taking out the levels and emboss. Now, I'm moving up the mouth. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is making a more creepy smiley face. I'm not so much happy anymore. Um, let's pull up the rough sketch and give you an idea. Ah, there we go, nice and angry. Um, now, this one actually took me quite a while even though it's not that advanced of a texture um, so I'm gonna have quite a while to talk to you so right now I just barely um, erased some of the eyes there to give them a more angry look and now I'm filling in the base color for where the teeth are going to go um, I guess during this time I can just talk about uh, the tools um, what I'm going to be using is mainly the burn and dodge tool um, you might be able to see them from the video they're on the side right now it's a little circle and a line coming out of it it's about halfway in in the middle of the toolbar um, well I'm here I'm drawing fangs I don't end up using them because I screw up I'm actually drawing them on the wrong layer right now See, um, so I have to go back and erase them and start again and here I go again I'm just gonna do normal teeth and then I check it and I did it on the wrong layer again so I go back and erase that wrong color get it white now now it's on the right layer and so back to the tools on the dodge tool which is what I'm about to start using um, it yeah sorry the burn tool is what I'm about to start using it will burn the color with white it simply makes it a darker shade you know, gray to black um, but with other colors if you use burn midtones or shadows it will actually add red into the color see right there that's the dodge tool I'm just using it on the white um, under the highlights option and I'm etching in some teeth and it just makes it a darker shade, you know, gray, and if you keep going, eventually black. I only have it on, I believe, 20% exposure right now, and now I'm adding a, an outline to the mouth. Um, I'm gonna add some shadows in there. I'm gonna do full teeth. You'll see as we progress. Um, but the, um, the the burn tool actually. Yeah, if you use it on colors, it will start to add red, which sometimes you really don't want. Um, but if you put it on the highlights option, usually it'll just add, put a darker color on the color, which is a nice feature. Um, oh, with um, using black and white like I am with these teeth, you have to be really careful when you use the shadows. Right now I'm using the medium. Um, since I'm using white and black, it won't affect the pure white, but anything that's a little gray, it'll affect that. Um, now back to the highlights. Now, if you use the shadows option on white like this, or on the white, it won't do anything, but if you do it on a shade of gray, it's like taking a charcoal pencil to a lightly sketched um, lead drawing. Or graphite, same thing. But it, it is so drastic the changes you have to be very careful when you use it I suggest putting your uh, exposure down a lot maybe 10% uh, it really matters what you're going for though see now I've uh, put some basic shadows on the teeth and adding some more outline shadows there um, so the dodge tool is basically the exact opposite of the burn tool um, it will add a uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. It will add a lighter shade to the co color you're doing it on. Um, it doesn't have the same issue that the burn tool does. It doesn't add any different colors. It'll just um, lighten the color that you're using it on. Um, when you use it on a gray, it'll make it more white and stuff like that. It's pretty simple. Um, once you get a hang of these tools, you can do all sorts of stuff. See, zooming out, there's our picture there. Um, I won't stay on it for long because people will try to steal it from the video and they might get away with it too so I'm taking some risks even making the videos um, 
you can get these textures on the Toy Bash forums. You have to pay me first, so they're not free. And, well, in Toy Credits. Some from the game. If you play, you'll get it. But Now I'm on the shadows, actually. Shadow option. And you can see how quickly it darkens everything. And I have a very small brush while I'm doing this. So, you have to be careful when you're using shadows. Um, now I'm back to the highlights, just adding more contrast between the teeth. And, um, yeah, uh, a little while ago you saw the whole teeth change back and forth. I was using the brightness and contrast layer style. Um, that's one way you can do what I'm doing right now, but it's not as uh, effective. It's somewhat obvious when people use this and I personally feel it puts a lower quality on the texture. Um, now I'm going to do some eyebrows. So what I'm doing is setting up the eyes. I guess you could say prepping them for the eyebrows because of how I did it before wasn't really that great. So now I'm putting in the basic shape. Um, these really look ugly. So zoom out and look at the side. I don't like them. So I just erase them. I do that a lot when working with advanced textures. Don't be afraid of restarting. Now, instead of doing eyebrows, I'm more doing just a brow, furrowed brow. Um, so, it's on uh, highlights, I believe. Yeah, and the exposure is around 30 or 20. And I'm just putting in some shadows. And now I'm back on the dodge tool. You can see it there. Just lightening up that yellow to white almost. I put it on shadows for that. Um, and now I am putting just a general overall darkness to it. That was a little too dark, but um, you, you, you can see if you watch. Uh, just making them more shaped. Uh, put a little more shadow in there. And the texture is just about done. There's just a little bit more of uh, footage. I'm kind of rambling right now in case you didn't notice. Now I'm, I'm putting some shadow on there. Uh, make it a little more defined. Go in a little closer. And do it a little darker. Um, but this texture took me, I'd say, 40 minutes. But the video speed is sped up a lot, so you're only seeing about 8 minutes. Um, and that about concludes. Oh, wait, he needs a chin. So just come down here and put a few shadows in. Didn't like that. There we go, more definite line. Shade it in a little bit more. And there we go. Um, alright. Now that concludes this, uh, video. I'm just screwing around now. Um, don't forget to save really sucks when that happens and you can find all these on torybash.com well the forums forums.torybash.com um, go to market art and textures and look for that one guy's stuff and okay um questions comments uh post them below uh, message me if you need to um see you next time